I want to. I want to try a new thing. Hold on. All right, you ready? Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's creepy. All right. Uh, my next guest is a terrific actor. I mean, really, really good. Uh, he stars in Person of Interest, which is Thursday nights on CBS. But Craig, you said he was a really good actor. I know, and he's still on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. Money launderer for the late Dom Moretti. Hey, I've got some questions for him. You were risking his cover by even approaching him. Let's go. Craig Ferguson, late night talk show douche. <laughs> Please welcome Michael Emerson, everybody. Michael. It's lovely to see you. I'm a huge fan of your work, and I'm very happy to see you wearing a vest. <laughs> what gentleman goes out without one? I tell you, it's no gentleman. No gentleman goes out without a vest. That's what I think since I've been watching Downton Abbey. The waistcoat, the tie, the waistcoat, collar. the tie. Yeah. Do, do, are you a, something of a dandy in your life? You well, seem quite fashionable. I've played historical roles on the stage so much that I... I well, you've got the sideburns for I, 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 There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That I, I feel comfortable in those clothes, and I, I you know, I, I know what it means to be well-dressed. Yes, you do. And it, it gives you a social advantage. It does. It do, that and the fact that you, if you talk like this and hold your head back, <laughs> people kind of treat yeah, you serious. That's right. And also you should have a badge saying, yeah, there were two badges there. That was Jim Clasy Weasel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. She was a big hit, though. Congratulations. It's doing well. Thank it's you. It's doing great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> that must feel nice. <laughs> yes. <it> <laughs> so, listen, um, you're a fan of Scottish punk rock, I hear. Well, I, I grew up at the right time, and right. I, I bought a few punk records in my day, and I went to see a few shows. And now, did you go to Scotland to see the, these? No, no, oh, I, right, I didn't. I, I think I saw the Rizillos, which is the band. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, that, they were a great band. I, right. I, I saw them in New York at some club whose name has escaped me. I see. Did you have a substance abuse problem at the time? <laughs> No, I, I think it was just the noise. Oh, the noise. That's what did it. The noise was a problem. It was so noisy, I blacked out and woke up on the floor of a Piggly Wiggly with a sore ass and a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I've been at some pretty loud clubs as well, Michael. You remember those times? Yes, I do. So you went to uh, CBGB's, I guess, and uh, the Mud Club and those places? Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. Max's Kansas City. Yeah, I never went there. Danceteria. Danceteria I went to. That was to. a good club. That was like on eight levels, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like a video game. The more drugs you took, the higher you got. In the... <laughs> there was a big scene at Studio 54 in those days, but I, I, never, I never had enough money to go. I never got into Studio 54. Well, I think it had closed down by the time I went to New York. Uh, I lived in New York in 84. Ah, right. I moved to New York from a small town in Iowa in 1976. Wow, that's fantastic. You can believe that. <laughs> yeah. What's the name of this small town in Iowa? I grew up in Toledo, Iowa. Not even Toledo. <laughs> no. The other one? I know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What is the other one? Toledo... There's a Toledo, Ohio. And Ohio, there, yeah. And there are a couple of them in the Pacific Northwest. Really? Yeah. Are you at Toledo, Iowa? Destinations all. <laughs> So, uh, were you in uh, theater in Toledo before you moved to New York? I, I did a bit. Really? I did trod the boards a bit, yes. Is at, there a big theater school? scene in Toledo, uh, Iowa? No, just in the, you know, what passed for a drama club at our consolidated rural high school. <laughs> that sounds all right. What kind of productions did you put on? We did the, you know, the classic chestnuts of the American stage. You can't ah. take it with you, Thurber Carnival. Our time? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. You I would always time. play old men. Why? Because you had the sideburns? Because, be, that, I had, a, I had an odd voice and spectacles, and they weren't going to give me the romantic lead, so that's, that's what I played. Why the hell no? I think, you know, an odd voice and spectacles, that's romantic. But the, it wasn't every guy in the club that was willing to spray his hair white and do the, you know, the bent yeah. over and all of that, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was my own ham bone that got me into the situation. <laughs> I'd a nickel for every time I'd said that. 
in the dad's interior. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So you still live in New York City? Yes. Oh, it's lovely there, isn't it? We, we, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I used to live uh, down near Venero's Bakery on 11th Street. Oh, sure. Oh, it's very nice. Do you enjoy baked goods? <laughs> I'll take a cannoli if someone presses it upon me. <laughs> Buy a nickel for every time I said that in the dad's interior. <laughs> yeah, I like the baked goods. Do you cook? Just a bit. Br breakfast, primarily. Uh, bacon? I, are we talking bacon? Uh, yes. Good. <laughs> but I, I enjoy when other people cook for me, also. You're talking restaurants here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of restaurants do you like? Do you enjoy the sushi? A lot of, a lot of the actors yes, like the sushi. I, I do, as a matter of fact. I didn't realize that it was a popular actor. Oh, thing. yeah. The actors love it. You know why? Lots of talking. Yeah. Lots of talking while you're there and, and uh, things yeah. to do. Sharing and the little... Sharing, sticks, talking, uh, little bits of business with the sticks. Yeah. And then the, ooh, have you tasted this? Mm, right. Yes, I had this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The so wide-eyed faces that you make at each other. Right, yeah, As yeah. if to say, now that is some... Wow, do, yeah. Would you ever eat, a, you know, a snail from the bottom? Oh, let me tell you about a time I did do that yes. when I was in rep in Toledo, Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> The urchins, the sea snakes, the the octopus. Are you a, are you a, are you a courageous eater? I mean, will you eat? No, I, I was at one time. At one time, I could handle about any spice that was thrown at me, but I I think I did some damage to myself and <laughs> maybe in one of those noisy clubs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a milder diet now. Yeah, yeah, me too. I've got to have that uh, camera thing up. Uh, up, up the yeah, road, yeah. E every five years. Oh no! Well, I've, I, I'm 50 this year. I've got to have my first. Oh well, yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, well, yeah. that's something to look forward. Oh, to. I'm very excited. Very excited. Uh, Next week, in fact, is uh, when the crew arrive. Uh, and no. let me encourage you to get the general anesthesia rather than the local. Yeah, I'm going for the complete wipeout. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's yeah. good. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to hear things. I did it once when I was semi-conscious mm. and. I cannot erase the details of the experience from, from my mind. I see. You know, the tube, it can get kinks in it, and, oh. and the, it sometimes takes two people to manipulate oh, it. Oh, the, these are These are things yeah. better forgotten, and I'm sorry I brought it up. Let, uh, no, well, to be fair, I brought it up, but still, it's, uh, oh. Well, you know, it beats the alternative. I, I, no, it doesn't, <laughs> no, actually. No. Oh, of what? <laughs> not doing it? No, not really. Anyway, look, we're out of time. So what do you fancy? A mouth organ, awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Big cash prize. All right. What time is it, gentlemen? It's time once again for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Here's how it works. 50 American dollars. Two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, you try and guess what it is. If you get it right, great. Jeff will tell us. And if you're wrong, Ooh, boy. <laughs> what was choice number two? Do you want to just have a question? Yeah, yeah question. Right, yeah. that's what I want. <clears throat> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. That is known. With, within six months, what is the average shelf life of a condom? <laughs> well, it's not as long as you might think. <laughs> Depends where the shelf is, really, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> But if we're talking Reykjavik, I would say three years. Absolutely close. <laughs> Two. Years is the correct answer! Yeah!